The daily dose of news out of Afghanistan is not good. Another bombing, a renewed Taliban insurgency, crime, opium production, poverty, and warnings from experts: the war could drag on without clear results. The war has now gone on for more than seven years, with about 70,000 foreign troops in the country, most from the United States. And President Barack Obama has announced he's sending 4,000 more troops to help train the Afghan armed forces. That's in addition to the 17,000 troops the president wants to deploy in the coming months. Included in the foreign military presence on the ground are nearly 60,000 troops that are part of a UN-mandated NATO contingent. NATO spokesman James Apatari has just returned from a visit to Afghanistan, where he accompanied senior NATO officials. Our assessment is basically this: in the north and the west of the country, things are basically stable or getting better. In the east, in many ways, they are getting better as well, even though there's a lot more fighting. In the south, it's not getting better; it's a stalemate. Abhatarai says insurgent activity in Kabul itself is down, but acknowledges concerns about lack of security are valid and often due to criminal activity, not the Taliban. Security analyst Dana Allen of London's International Institute for Strategic Studies says NATO's achievements in Afghanistan are mixed at best. I don't think anybody really appreciated the dimensions of the Afghanistan mission.、Um, The inherent difficulty of trying to fight a counter counterinsurgency against an insurgency that、uh, has pretty much free sanctuary in neighboring Pakistan. The cross-border dimension of the conflict has led the new administration in Washington to push for a broader regional approach. In announcing his strategy for Afghanistan and Pakistan on Friday, President Obama said the Taliban and Al Qaeda leadership are planning attacks on the U.S. and other nations from the mountainous border region. He said they pose threats to both South Asian nations. For the American people, this border region has become the most dangerous place in the world. But this is not simply an American problem; far from it. It is instead an international security challenge of the highest order. Analyst Allen says that approach is good, but not necessarily a magic formula. The most difficult problem is undoubtedly Pakistan.、Um, there, there is there is a sanctuary in Pakistan that's it's believed to be where most of the high value Al Qaeda、um, terrorist leaders are. Are based,、um, and it is certainly a sanctuary for for Taliban fighters to come back. And says Allen, a regional strategy might involve unpleasant trade-offs. Deciding that,、um, for example, you don't want to you don't want to do anything that destabilizes Pakistan, even though if that seems necessary for winning in Afghanistan. How to proceed in Afghanistan? How to adapt strategies? How to increase support? Those are among the issues on the table for the Afghan meeting in The Hague. And at the table will be the U.S., its allies, and rival Iran. Analysts say that while Washington and Tehran are mostly at odds, Afghanistan is one area where they could more easily find common ground. Sonia Pace, VOA News, London.